Okay, so here here's here's the experience I just had that I think is relevant to our what we're working on. I'm at the top of, of my roof deck, and for the first time, um, I'm eating a pizza and in the hot tub, and just envisioning you know life and looking out at this you know the 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 amazing view from every single place and thinking how good is life and enjoying a beer and a pizza and just i left my devices I, I so i'm not checking email that's probably why you haven't received one from me in the past two hours um and and just contemplating the book and life and all of a sudden you know one of the car the carpenters that's still working it's eight o'clock or thereabouts and he comes up I told him I'd be upstairs smoking pot and drinking beers and he's welcome to join me if he can find time to to do so without <laughs> delaying or excusing all the work that's supposed to get done. Um, and he comes up and, uh, you know, we just start chatting and, and, and it's just, I'm, I'm soaking in life and everything that it's, it is right now and which is all good. St today was one of the most stressful days in my entire life, you know, moving and then extending and dealing with contractors and then Margo gets sick and then Margo gets sort of better. And so like, so, I, so this moment, if you can really appreciate it all. And, and I had an opportunity at the, after talking to him about his day to day, you know, life and blah, 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 and thanking him for a great job. I, I, I sat there and I said, you know, this is my first time I ever get to say the following. You know, I just wrote a book, and can I tell you what it's about? So, and without giving it any thought at all, you know, I, I tried to formulate what I was going to, how I was going to say it, and I'll try to repeat it. I don't know that I can, uh, you know, let me deal with that separately because it's important. After I said it, I said truthfully, you know, consider the fact where, you know, he's working for me essentially and we're high and drinking beers and looking at the view. And I said, would you want to read that book? And he said, yeah, I would. And I said, why? And he says, because I think I can be better. And he went on saying, you know, what you're basically saying is, you know, is that you need to learn how to passionately, passionately personally promote yourself. And in doing so, you feel better about yourself and your business does better. And so I thought to myself, wow, I, I must have done a pretty good job describing the book. I, I, I never knew what I wanted people to think about after they, they read it. I, you, know, I, you know, we've been very concerned about not being too preachy and, and just striking that right balance. And, 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 and yet... When I heard him say that, I, I, you know, I, I felt to myself that you know, if, if I could accomplish anything in this book, if I could change some people's minds and, and let them inspire themselves, I mean, how fucking cool would that be? That is awesome. So I just wanted to, you know. Those are the kinds of, of feelings that people care about after they, they read a book. Like if they read a book and they feel like that, that's what they'll remember. Yeah, I think that's right, and and I and you know and I I congratulate both of us for you know striking that balance that we set out to do, which was really critical. I mean, you know that that's that's where we went south in the first two weeks. You know, the balance wasn't wasn't enough driven towards life stories. It was more preachy, and I think that you know we we you know I forgot what the percentage was that we were looking for, but whatever it was, I think you hit it, and. Um, and that was important because you want to walk away having spent three hours. Now, if I can walk away having spent three hours reading a book and be entertained and learn something and inspire myself, you know, that's fucking awesome. So, right. so, so uh, let me try and give the pitch that I gave. But before I do so, I have to tell you, segue into a related conversation I had with him. You know, you've seen the design of the house. I mean, it's 2,600 square feet, fairly small by, you know, you know, massive house standards by any means, you know, and, um, and, 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 and he's the cabinet maker. He turns to me, he says, dude, 
I have never seen a house with so many cabinets and pockets and crevices and things to put shit in in my entire life. You must have, in all the houses I've ever built, and I've been doing this since I've been 17, more cabinets per square foot than every house. And he starts counting. And I said, well, you know, if you were to count each cabinet and study each cabinet, each compartment, because that's how I count pockets, you know, it's a compartment count. <laughs> <laughs> He's, his mind exploded. So if we were to, you know, and we've talked about this in terms of marketing the book. And I, I mean, who, who else would the, put the pocket man? Would, I mean, we must have a thousand different compartments in this 2,600 square foot out. Four compartments for every square foot. I, I, that's insane. That's awesome. So. That's cool. Yeah, I mean, you should do a pocket. I'm going to do a pocket cam. All right. Uh, uh, hold on one second.